I'm with uh, Niall Johnston, who is the Vice President of Business Development for 3D4 Medical. Uh, thank you for being with us, Mr. Johnson. You, thank you for having me. Your company has recently developed a patient education software that dental professionals can use for patient education. Unlike other formats that are available in dentistry, it appears to me that your app is a little more interactive mm -hmm. and that it encourages the dental professional to... There is a video being played, but it encourages the dental professional to use a pen, for example, to draw on the video itself, maybe uh, focus on specific areas of concern. I just wanted to ask you, first of all, why did you all take this particular approach to developing this app? Right. Well, um, well we, are, we have a number of different applications um, that we have published. Um, we're the, the top medical app publisher for the iPad. So typically, we would have, I don't know, probably between five and six applications in the top, ten, uh, in the top 20 uh, gross revenue applications on the iPad, um, including apps on uh, the heart and the spine. And uh, all of our apps have a combination of, 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 of things, namely uh, the anatomy and then maybe conditions and treatments and so on. And behind that, there's a lot of technology uh, in terms of interactivity, um, sharing, um, and the ability to navigate an application. So we thought that the, the dental area, uh, dentistry in general, was an area that was um, an, an opportunity for us and maybe we could bring something to the table that some of the other companies uh, did not have just based on our extensive experience in other therapeutic areas, medical therapeutic areas. Well, when I was looking at the app, uh, and I may have not turned on the right button, so to speak, but I don't think there was any audio, uh, if I understood it correctly. So the dental professional is holding the iPad up, and it's actually manipulating the uh, video to explain whatever needs to be explained. Is that a correct way of uh, explaining that's, that? Yes, that's exactly correct. The concept is that the dental professional, uh, or two scenarios. Number one, the dental professional would have the iPad and would uh, show the patient maybe their condition or treatment options um, or the anatomy and uh, obviously talk over exactly what's going on within the animation. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two is that the iPad is left in the waiting area of the, uh, the dentist's office and the um, patient who's waiting for their appointment has the opportunity to look at the different, you know, again, conditions or treatments or so on, maybe look something up, maybe um, look at the anatomy, um, um, uh, of, uh, of dentistry and so on, but do it in an environment where there isn't noise so they're not necessarily interrupting somebody else who is either a, a fellow patient or, uh, or so on. You work with a San Diego dentist, Dr. Brian Davey, to develop the app. Can mm -hmm. you uh, tell us a little bit about what he brought to the product development? Sure. So for all of our apps, we find an expert in the particular therapeutic area. So for our spine app, we, we partnered with one of the top spinal surgeons in the U.S. For our heart pro app, we developed in conjunction with one of the uh, top cardiac and thoracic surgeons in the U.S. So similarly for, the, for our dental app, we found a partner locally. Now I'm based in San Diego. Um, Brian Davies is actually my dentist and he runs a very, very uh, successful practice here in North County. And what he brought to the table, um, of course, was the, the uh, curriculum development, uh, which is you know, very important. What are we going to cover? What is this app trying to cover? Is it um, relevant and is it contemporary? So that's the first thing. Then he, he brings to the table the sort of um, editing process and making sure that when we develop um, animations, for example, that they're accurate and that they correctly represent the condition or the procedure. Um, so it, it works for both of us. And Brian, um, runs a, as I said, runs a terrific practice um, here in North County in San Diego and has been very helpful to us in the development of the app. Okay, well I know that, and I have not looked at your uh, 
medical apps, so I don't know much about them. I admit that, but does uh, 3D4 Medical, does it frequently update this app with the... Uh... Yeah, normally the way that an app evolves over time is that it starts off with just the anatomy, and then we add in conditions, treatments, procedures, and so on. But for this app, we actually, um, we've developed it. It took us over a year to do. And by the time it was released, we had, obviously, we, we meant to include, you know, a significant number of animations, which we did. Um, typically, our apps get updated twice a year. Um, and they get updated in two different ways. First of all, you have the technology. And the technology is based around uh, the navigation, the interactivity, maybe the sharing of information, that type of thing. And that always, we update all of our apps to the same level of, of technology. So that's the first thing. So there's free updates for that. And then the other updates are typically content updates. So maybe we add in some new procedures. Or, and, and most of those is really based on the feedback we get from users. So we literally have hundreds of medical professionals contact us every week with suggestions on how to improve our products. We really like this, but could you add that? Or have you thought about doing this? And, and um, when we, um, so we compile all that information and then subsequently release an upgrade to uh, on the content side of it, uh, of an application, you know, um, twice a year. So yeah, and all the upgrades are free, of course. Okay, now Johnson with 3D4 Medical. I thank you very much for your time. I'll put the website for the uh, company up here on the screen, and uh, uh, thank you very much. Now, one thing before we go, we actually have a free light version of the application. Um, that you can download on iTunes. So a dental patient education light version, uh, just put in dental pa patient education, it'll come up with both of the apps. And that one includes just 10 of the animations, but all of the anatomy. So it's a really good teaser. And if you like that, then you know what to expect when you get the full, uh, the full application, which is obviously, you know, um, cost. Uh, there's a fee to it.